Hey guys, what is good? Jared Nightmare here. Just giving you guys uh, some comics to pick up. This is a combination of two weeks, uh, last week, so you know we're just trying to get re caught up with everything, but you know we're still up to date with what's going on. But um, here we got the Batman Superman line number 65. Uh, this isn't as good as it's normally been. It's still a nice read. Um, it basically deals with uh, their fear. So whenever you say fear, you know Scarecrow's involved. So um, it's still been a really good line. Only because I like to see the differences between Superman and Batman. Because they're both way different characters in every way. Batman, he's more darker. Superman, of course, is more light. So still been a good read. Uh, next up, we got the Blackest Night, uh, Part 3 Superman. I just love this cover right here. I think it's just a badass looking cover. Um, basically, this is the team up between uh, Superman, uh, Superboy, and even Crypto gets involved. Um, and of course, it, it affects the whole, all of Smallville. And um, you get to see the some of the new superpowers involved, like, um, what is it, Superwoman and um, Supergirl. So, it's been a good read so far. Well, so far, but it's definitely, definitely one you guys need to check out. Definitely pick that up. Probably the pick of the month, week, wherever we're at, I don't care. Green Ladder number 47, just awesome read. Um, based, you're going to see uh, all interactions with uh, different corps like you see there's a team up between Sinestro, Hal Jordan, um, one of the Star Sapphires and the Indigo uh, Lanterns and you see how all their combination of power can uh, defeat some of the Black Lanterns but it's still going to be a long ways to go before they can do anything. Uh, at the very beginning you see Enroticus, uh, the Red Lantern, get his heart ripped out. So, does he live? You know, does he die? I don't know. You got to pick it up. Definitely, if you're trying to get into DC, uh, I would start off with Green Lantern just because it's not like the Super Boy Scouts, you know, you guys come to know. These guys really go at it. A lot of death, a lot of destruction. Good, good all around um, uh, writing. Um, and so, it's just been a good read. Um, here we got uh, Blackest Night, Volume 4. Still always going to be a top pick. Um, we got Jeff Johns. He's just an all-around great writer. And he really brings out a great story in this. I'm not too fond of the cover. Uh, I thought all the other covers up to this have been really good, except for this one. Uh, trying to get the variant one. Those ones are pretty badass. So, so that's it for the DC side. So we'll go to Marvel. Um, Ultimate Avengers. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Ultimate line. Uh, I have been for since... Well, not since it started, but... When I first uh, started picking them up, but this this one has been really good. You get to see more story. Um, they're trying to uh, recapture Captain America. He's gone rogue. Uh, basically, you see all new team: Spider-Man, Hulk, uh, Wasp, and a War Machine. And these aren't the same guys you've come to know. I mean, these guys have a lot of story behind them. So definitely want to check these out. Hawkeye's just a badass. As I love that Hawkeye. Um, I, I got the Armored Wars from the Ultimate line just to see what it's going to be like. And it was kind of a letdown. It was kind of boring in a way. Basically, after the tragedy of Ultimatum and all that stuff, uh, he goes back to one of his little bases to recover some stuff. And there's some kind of uh, Stark tech, uh, another uh, Iron Man suit running around. And it was really a letdown. I mean, I was really disappointed in this, so definitely pass on that one but one you should not pass on is the Punisher of the list if you've seen Bug Nice uh, Tins video earlier today still this is really great read uh, you might want to check this out because there's gonna be a lot to talk about coming up um, something really good happens at the end and you, you see just all-around brutal fight between these two um, you see Dakin's involved so just an epic epic read Continuing with the list, this one was a huge, huge disappointment. Uh, just, I don't even know why they even needed to come out with this one. Um, Wolverine, the list. It was just, it wasn't even really about Wolverine. I mean, it was such garbage, I just didn't even care for it. Uh, definitely pass on that. I wish I could get my money back, but that's different. Um, next up, we got War Machine, number 10. Uh, 
just love this line right here. It's all around great, excellent read. Um, Norman Osborn, he's one of the, to me, he's one of the best uh, villains out there right now. He's just doing so much damage going on. Um, and the ending is, is kind of a shocker in a way, so definitely want to check this out just to see what's happening. Next up, Necrosha. Yeah, Necrosha, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is just a great, great read. It's just a, it's a one shot, so it's uh, the newest event that's going to probably be happening with X Force, all those X Men and stuff. Um, just a great read. Um, Craig Kyle and Christopher Yost, they're some of the top writers in Marvel. I really love their stuff. Um, Creighton, Creighton Crane, he does excellent, excellent artwork. So, if you guys are a big fan, because that's a little team up they've, I've seen all those guys working on. So, really like their work. We got Dark Wolverine. Um, this is a good one, just because you see Dakin gets his ass handed to him big time. Uh, such a good read, but, you know, I'm just going to continue with this line just to see where it's going. Um, you know, Dakin, he's just been a really smart ass, and he's always going to be compared to Wolverine in every, everything he does. So, I'm hoping pretty soon we get to um, see a big fight between those two, maybe X-23. Of course, like always... New Avengers is always top of my list. I love the team they assembled together. It's just been a fun read. Uh, Norman Osborn, he keeps on going crazy uh, every single day. Um, Luke Cage is hurt, so definitely want to see where that's going to continue. Uh, this one pretty much needs no introduction. Uh, X-Force. Uh, if you like blood, you like violence, you like a good all-around story, this is definitely one you want to pick up. Another one of those great reads by um, Kyle and uh, Yost so they do really like I said really good team up together here we got Ares uh, Dark. now this one took me by surprise um, the art isn't as good as I'd liked it to be um, I think the way they they draw Ares is kinda small but the story of this is just all around good I mean you basically you have Norman Osborn giving Ares his own team. He said, all right, out of all my guys, you know, Hammer, you know, all of this stuff, pick the guys that you want to train. And if you get trained by Ares, you know, it's going to be brutal. And basically, at the end, there's a little controversy or what's happening. Um, if you've checked out his interactions with um, Nick Fury and previous, I think, Dark Avengers, then something big is going to happen. So... Definitely, definitely uh, check this out just to see the ending. I don't want to give it away if you haven't read it, but really good. So it's going to be war. Uh, final, we've got uh, Invincible Iron Man. This one has been just an, a great all-around story. I see Book; he's got the um, the trade for it. Uh, so this one has really, a, really been a must-read. You see, um, basically the fall of Tony Stark, and he's got. I think we're going to get treated to all these different armors that he's been uh, that he's had over the years, and this one Norman Osborn finally gets a, a, a track on him, and he's just he's just basically drunk happy, you know he's just talking trash the whole time of what he's going to do, and he finally gets his hands on Iron Man, so definitely want to check this out to see what happens at the end. Just a great great read, and you know, hope the hope they continue it to be really excellent, really good. So. There you guys go. Some comics to pick up. Alright you guys. Peace.